welcome to uh, my fifth lecture series so last class i have discussed about the grothas draper law that is the second law of photochemistry so today i will discuss the third law of photochemistry that is the stark einstein law okay so uh, in the stark einstein law this law was introduced by stark in the year of 1908 and followed by einstein in the year of 1912 So basically, Stark-Einstein law states that in a photochemical reaction, each mole of the reacting substance absorbs one single photon radiation or one quantum of light energy that causes the reaction and is activated to form the product. Till now, Grothas in the uh, previously Grothas-Draper law, each of the light molecule is activated. Uh, by the corresponding sample whereas the difference of the stark einstein law is that only one single photon or it is called the one quantum of light energy that is required for the reaction and it is basically activated to form the product so from this law it is clear that for a reaction number of molecules reacted should be equal to number of quanta of light absorbed for example if one mole of the reactant molecule is undergoes reaction then one quanta of light energy is required this is the basic fundamental things of stark einstein law okay so you can see here the number of activated molecules equal to number of quanta of radiation absorbed that means if the initially r0 is your uh, reactant molecule one mole of r0 react with one equivalent of photon energy and it will produce the product and it goes to uh, excited state that means r0 remains in the ground state by absorbing absorbing the photon energy it goes to your excited state that is the r star state okay so from the stark einstein law it basically states that each photon of light absorbed by a chemical system only one molecule is activated for a photochemical reaction therefore the energy absorbed by one mole of the reacting molecules is given by mathematically e becomes n into h into nu this energy is called one einstein okay where n is the avogadro number and all of you know the value of avogadro number is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 mole inverse h is the corresponding planck constant value and nu is the frequency of light absorbed so stark einstein law states that in the primary process each reacting molecule is activated by one quantum of effective light hence the law implies that one is to one relationship between the number of reacting molecules and the number of quanta of light absorbed it is applicable only to the primary process here you can see that that each molecule is a uh, mole of reactant if we take an one mole of reactant then one einstein is required if we take one molecule of the reactant then one quanta or one photon energy is required very simple so that means when one photon energy is activated by the one molecule of reactant molecule then what happens it basically activated that means a in the present in the ground state it goes to the excited state a star so when it becomes activated by absorption of photon energy then it becomes the a star state alternatively if we taken one mole of the reactant molecule then obviously one einstein uh, of light energy is required then what happens one mole of the reactant molecule they can be converted to the a star state and a star is the present in the excited state then what happens in the excited state it can undergoes the product when it can undergoes the product there may be the presence of intermediate state so either from a star it can be form b so if it is the single step reaction then it can form the b or 
if it is the multi step reaction then different kind of intermediate states are possible that means from b to c states are possible okay so this is the main fundamental things of the stark einstein law so therefore we can say the molecule a absorbs a photon of light and gets excited in the primary process whereas the excited molecule a star then decomposes to produce the corresponding b molecule through the secondary step process so we can say that this is the if i divide the corresponding reaction in two different kind of state the first step is the primary state where the a react with the in presence of photon it can goes to a star state so we called it as the primary state or primary photochemical process what happens in the excited state a star it goes to the product b so if it is occurs in one step so single step reaction occurs if it occurs through multiple type of step then what happens the different kind of intermediate we have obtained so this is the secondary step so that the overall reaction a in presence of h nu it goes to the corresponding b state so this is the fundamental thing so then let's see what is the corresponding difference between the photon energy with that of the einstein energy therefore a molecule acquire energy by absorbing photon as we can write a plus h nu it can goes to a star state therefore energy of photon according to the energy principle we can write energy becomes equal to planck constant h multiply by the frequency of light used that is nu where the corresponding nu is frequency of absorbing photon h is your planck constant value and the value is 6.624 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second therefore the energy of one mole photon is given by e becomes equal to n into h into nu but we know that the frequency is speed of light divided by wavelength therefore substituting the value we obtain e equal to n into h into c divided by lambda where the corresponding n is your avogadro number value is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 mole inverse c is the speed of light or velocity of light in uh, si unit the value is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so if we put the value in si unit the value becomes equal to 119620 divided by lambda kilojoule per mole okay or we can write the 1.19 into 10 to the power 5 by lambda kilojoule per mole where the value of lambda is nanometer unit second thing to understand the relation between the photon and einstein here i am showing you that photon becomes equal to one quanta that means in when we are talking about the corresponding photons make sure that one molecule is present so one molecule absorbs the photon energy or it, it is called the one photon energy if we are talking about the mole that means one mole of a substance containing avogadro number of molecules that is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 then the corresponding the energy becomes equal to one einstein that means one mole of quanta or 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 quanta of light is one einstein or mathematically we can write one einstein is equal to n into h into nu so the summary is that the one photon when we are talking about one photon one molecule is participated when we are talking about one einstein that means one mole of your reacting substance can be participated okay so this is the uh, overall thing of the stark einstein law uh, next class i will discuss about the Uh, concept of the uh, quantum yield okay thank you for your attention